I promised everyone that we would not be showing uh, armed guns, uh, self-defense moves on the internet. But again, I'm breaking my promise. The last video we posted uh, with the little girl designing the arm giant has an amazing feedback. We never thought we would get so many hits, over 4,000 people with like a week and a half uh, checked our video and we, we got an amazing response from our students and from strangers as well. People are like, oh, this move is awesome, this move is really cool, but some people they still doubt about the effectiveness of the Grace Barra Jiu Jitsu system. So I decided to bring to you guys in first hands uh, a video, okay, it's a, it's a gun defense in a situation that happened with me a couple of years ago. And because I, I knew how to defend myself and how to use the Grace Barra Jiu Jitsu skills, today I'm over here to tell you guys a story. So this is something that I see and I, not, I, I never seen happening. I experienced that myself. The beauty of our art, and that's what I always tell our students, is that our movements, they're not based in tradition or something that we think it works, okay? With our self-defense system, with our ground fighting system, the system is structured in a way that you did or someone that you know did or your master did. It's not something that is over there 2,000 years ago and you have a legend and you, you don't know if it really works. It's practical. It's your, your partner that trains with you every day. He did, he tried, he applied, he worked. Or you tried and you work. I always teach movements and I, I, I favor the movements to my students that I apply them myself, okay? So I'll, I'll tell you guys a little story before that. It goes back to the national elections in Brazil in 2006, 2006 or 2007. I remember it was something like October and uh, I just arrived from a trip to the UK on that day, the day of the elections. And my father called me and said, Carlos, I'm gonna pick you up to vote. Okay, I said, Dad, I'm really tired. I had a long flight. I need to sleep for a little bit. I need to, to jump on the, on the, on the sea to uh, uh, give, uh, take some strokes, okay? Swim a little bit, I go back home, I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna relax. Pick me up later on this afternoon. Say, it, closed, it shuts, the, the election shuts down at four. Say, that's fine. So my father was there, he picked me up in the afternoon and we went to to this election park, to this election place to, to vote. In Brazil, voting, it's a duty of a, of a city. So if you miss many elections, you're gonna have a fine and eventually you can get arrested, they don't issue your passport. It's, there is a, a series of, of penalties that incur to, to a person who doesn't vote. So we had to vote. So when we get to the, to the street of the, the election center, uh, the this, this street, this street was blocked by a couple of uh, men and we tried to pass and they say no one, no one's gonna pass. So my father rolled his window down and asked, called one of the guys over and said, sir, we have 15 minutes to vote, we need to pass. I say, you're not gonna pass anywhere. My father said, how come? Who are you? I say, it doesn't matter, who am I? you're not gonna pass. I said, but I need to vote. That is, are you a police officer? Who, who are you? Guys, he was on you, uh, he, he has no uniform, okay? So he was, he has civilian, uh, which was a, a, a civilian outfit. And my father said, I need to pass. The guy said, you want? My mother was saying, calm down guys, calm down, please. Next thing you know, the guys are sweating at my father. Next thing you know, the guy tried to reach my father. Okay, don't forget he has his window down. So at this moment, I got out of the car to take the guy off my father's uh, uh, window because at, at that point I got scared. I said, what is this guy gonna try next? So this guy comes and tries to swing at me. I connect the first one. When I connected the first one, he poofed, dropped on top of a car. 
So when he dropped on top of a car, I connected him two, three more times. And then, what happened next? He pulls a gun. Okay? And right now, I'm going to break that down and I'm going to show you guys the move that saved my life. So today, guys, to help me with the move, the self-defense move that saved my life, I have Officer Killy. Officer Killy, please, step on the next step. How are you? Nice, sir. nice to see you. Nice to see you. Officer Killy, it's one of my students, and he's also got lots of experience with firearms. He, he trains, they train a lot of his uh, department with that, and that's why we chose him to be my helper today. He's uh, well-rounded with firearms and guns. So let's see what happened, okay? So here's the situation. The guy has a gun. A standing gun, a gun right underneath his, uh, which could I say, bag shirt. In Brazil, if you see someone wearing a bag shirt, pay attention because that person can be armed, especially back in the days. Right now it's, it's a little bit uh, 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 nicer down there, but back in the day, okay, around 2006, 2007, there's still like a lot of people carrying guns out there. So for, uh, Officer Killing got that gun right there. Okay, and that's exactly how my attacker, the guy who tried to attack my father, has his gun. Okay, so when the guy tried to pull the gun, okay, I disarmed him, but then what happened? People started hitting me from behind. It was his friends, they started hitting me from behind. So what I did, I never. <laughs> Never try to shoot anyone. I threw the gun underneath the car, the same car that we're scrambling on top of, and I start fighting two or three guys at the same time. And what happened, I caused such a fuss that people start coming and a, 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 a massive commotion was created, and that gave me the time, and also the awareness around me, of, of the surrounds, of people around, in the, around us, that saved my life, okay? If on that day, I, I would know no jujitsu, that guy would pull that gun and he would shot me right there. So let's break this movement down right now for you guys so you can understand the mechanics, the mechanics of this movement, why that's so effective, okay? So I'm gonna get the gun. By the way, this is a fake gun, so you, just so you guys know, okay? It looks pretty real, but it's not. It's officer kneeling, uh, killing, sorry. I'm gonna put the gun right there, back in where, 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 where he initially had, okay? So once you detect your attacker has a gun, okay? And he tries to pull the gun on you, what I'm gonna do is simply, okay, I'm gonna come with my left hand right there on his right wrist, okay? Right now, I'll try to pull the gun, it's stuck, okay? He can't pull the gun. Right now, I'm gonna come with my right hand, okay? Right on top of the gun, okay? Right, right over there, right on top of the gun, okay? And then I'm gonna bring my head to his chest because at this point, the only thing he can really do uh, is to hit me with a headbutt or, okay, he can connect a punch right there. So I don't wanna leave my head exposed. I'm gonna paste my head right there on his chest. And then as he tries to pull the gun, okay, I'll have the gun pointing at himself, okay? Try to, try to readjust the gun, uh, Officer Killing, to shoot me. Okay, he can't, he's stuck. So then at this point, Okay, I'll pull the gun to me. Okay, it's, it's impossible to hold the gun. He can't hold the gun. Okay, if he insists, you're gonna end up shooting himself. Okay, and I'll have the gun on me right now. Obviously, that wasn't an option. Okay, once I pull the gun, I don't wanna shoot anyone. So I threw that gun underneath the car. Okay, and I was attacked from behind. People were hitting me from behind. Uh, the, the, this guy that I never seen in my life, these friends, they started hitting me from behind. The bottom line is, I disarmed someone who was trying to kill me. And he could potentially kill my entire family that day. So, thanks to Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu, thanks to Jiu Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, thanks to Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu, and thanks all of you guys for watching us. Guys, Jiu Jitsu saved the day again. Uh, I highly recommend you guys, don't try that at home, but go to a qualified school, okay, where legit teachers, they can train you and they can prepare you to face a situation like that. 
It's not that you're going to be going around trying to look for trouble. Uh, who are you going to pull a gun from? Or who are you going to uh, uh, try to get a knife from? No, it's not like this. It's that the very moment in your life that uh, you're not expecting and someone can try something stupid on you and you'll be prepared to, to face that situation. And that will save your life. I can promise you that. Thank you very much for watching us, for watching us guys. Thank you. Barra, Jiu-Jitsu Forever.